Okay, so lately I've had uh, being repeated is how do you cook in your wigs? I've had people tell me they have ruined their wigs opening up the oven, that gush of warm air comes up and it fries their wigs and ruins it and it absolutely would do that even with probably an HD fiber wig as well. That's a lot of heat that's coming at you quickly. So to be honest, I try my best not to cook in my wigs. <laughs> Um, you know, I noticed Thanksgiving and Christmas, I try to do my cooking, you know, getting the turkey in the oven. I do all that in the morning anyway. I probably haven't even taken a shower. And um, so most of that is done before I even get a wig on my head. Um, this was a weird holiday season in general, this last Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, Thanksgiving, I was, you know, dealing with that whole kidney stone thing. By the time Christmas came around, I was pretty wiped and pooped. And I ended up not taking a shower for Christmas Day at all. So didn't have to worry about it. I didn't wear a wig, nothing. Um, and for daily, you know, cooking, when I, um, at, by the end of the day, I my wig is usually off my head and I have a headband in it and my makeup is off and I, you know, I'm cooking dinner without a wig. Um, work days, the first thing I do is I come home, take my wig off, get my makeup off, put my pajamas, you know, take my bra off, get my pajamas on, I get comfy, and then I will proceed to cook dinner or whatever it is that I'm doing. So um, I would say, you know, eight, ta eight times out of 10, I am not cooking with a wig, but there have been occasions that I am cooking with a wig. So, you know, you just have to be, oh, my blind little Zoe just ran into the tripod here. It's okay, honey. It's okay. I'm right here. I'm right here. She knows where everything is, and so now that I've clunked a few things in her way that she's not used to, she, I think she, okay, okay she's going to lay down right here by my feet. Um, but those few times, I'm sorry, for those few times that, you know, I, I am finding myself in a wig and I'm cooking and I got something in the oven or on the stove or I'm boiling something and I have to dump it out in the colander and there's steam, you know, you just make sure that your head is away from the steam. Honestly, I do that anyway, even when I'm not wearing wigs. When I'm opening up the oven, I open up the oven and literally stand completely by the side of it. And then once that gush is out of the oven, I really, I just kind of hold my head back and I really quickly do what I'm going to do and get it out of there and close it up. Um, if I'm cooking on top of the stove, again, if I'm lifting up a, a lid, I lift the lid up toward me and so it's going this way and I stand back and I cook. You have to be very mindful. It is annoying, I have to say, because you do have to make a really exaggerated effort to not ruin your wig when you're cooking. But, you know, I have, knock on wood, I have not ruined any wigs yet, um, you know, when I am cooking, because I am really overly cautious. I have gone so far as to get one of my kids to get something out of the oven for me. It's like, I, I'm pretty good at cooking stuff on the stove. Yes, there's steam going, and I got my fan going up there, and I'm very careful, you know, when I do that, because you can ruin your wig doing that too. But if it's in the oven, I, you know, sometimes I will, especially if it's something that needs to be basted or um, it's, I got really got to get in there. Maybe my, you know, Dutch oven is in there. It's heavy and you got to really get in there to get it out. I have been known to have my kids do that for me. So, but if nobody's home, I do it. I just let that first gush get rid of, you know, get out of there. And I'm standing completely away from the oven. I'm opening the door literally this way, let it do its thing. And then I'm kind of holding my head out and I'm just trying to get in there and get it out really quickly. So you just have to be really, really mindful and very careful. Okay, thank you guys so much. I hope you find this helpful. And until next time, stay young at heart. Bye-bye.